Hi, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video, we're going to take a look at using the Orbix material in Octane for Maya. And just like the other videos in this section, I'm using the Octane Materials 01.MA scene. So let's start by applying an Orbix material. I'm going to select this sphere right here, zoom in on a little bit. And I'm going to go to the Octane menu and choose Octane Materials, Octane Orbix material. You can also click on this icon right here. And of course you can also use Hypershades. If I open up Hypershade and bring it over, you'll see that in the Octane section under Materials, here's the Octane Orbix material right here. So let's select the Octane Orbix material and graph its input and output connections. You can see it's pretty simple at the moment. I'll select the Octane Orbix material node and let's take a look in the Attribute Editor. The attribute editor here are the attributes, and there's not a whole lot going on here. Uh, if I click on the edit button, this will open up Octane Standalone. Well, it'll open up a Octane Standalone node graph editor that we can use to create the material. So this is just another way for creating materials, and it's very helpful if you are more familiar with Octane Standalone than you are, say, Maya, or if you want to copy and paste materials from Octane Standalone into Maya. So there's lots of different ways that you could use this. But the basic idea here is that the Octane Orbix material is a way to edit a material in Maya using the Octane Node Graph Editor. So I'm going to right click over here and choose Octane Materials and let's go for say a glossy material and I'll just connect this to the Octane Orbix material node and you'll see that this becomes shiny and I can start to edit the material here using the uh, node inspector here in the Octane standalone interface. Let's move this a little bit over so it's a bit more obvious to see. You can try switching this over to Beckman, maybe increase the roughness a little bit, maybe even add a node like for instance, I could use a texture such as turbulence and put this into say diffuse channel. And you can see we get that procedural noise right here. All of these nodes are also available in Octane for Maya. It's just another way to access them. So let's say for the sake of argument that I wanted to copy a material from Octane Standalone into Octane for Maya. So this is the node graph editor within Octane for Maya. What I'm gonna do now is open up Octane Standalone. And I already have a scene in here that is very simple. It just has a torus and a plane and a couple materials. So the material applied to the torus is an octane specular material. So this is what the scene looks like in octane standalone. I don't need all of this stuff. I just need the nodes related to the material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a selection around the specular material and the incoming noise and marble texture nodes. I'm going to right click over this and choose copy and then go into Maya back into the node graph editor for Maya which is right here. And I'm going to right click and choose paste. So you can see here are the nodes. So I can take this glossy node here and let's just disconnect this and move it off to the side. Zoom in here a little bit so it's easier to see. And now what I can do is here's the Octane Orbix material node right here that is applied to the sphere. So I'll just connect the specular material to the input there and we can see now we have our same material from our Octane standalone scene here in our Maya scene. Another way to bring in uh, materials from an Orbix scene is to go into Octane standalone. I can select my nodes right here and choose save and save this out. We'll call this, let's call this glass marble. Save it as an Octane package, and we'll choose a location. Let's call this Octane Glass Marble. Save it as an Orbix file. And call this Glass Marble. And under description, we'll just call this a simple Back. Okay, then I can go back into Maya 
And here in the attribute editor for the Octane Orbix material, I'll choose import from Orbix. Find where I had saved that file, Octane Glass Marble, choose this. And you can see it's brought into the scene right here. And I'll open up the Octane Node Graph Editor. And you can see here are the attributes for it. So in summary, the Octane Orbix material does the same thing as the Octane materials that are already in Maya. It's just another way to edit it using the Octane Node Graph Editor and also makes it easier for copying and pasting between Octane Standalone and Octane for Maya.